And back here once again, the Sparks down by 13, and we're going to check in with Courtney Jones, who's with Jen Gillum. Coach Gillum, it seems like the Sparks are struggling a little bit defensively. What is it going to take to get them jump started and get them better on that on that side of the ball? Well, definitely not the start that we wanted, but uh, you know, I think this team has some fight in them. They they understand, you know, that it was going to be tough to come out and get warmed up, but I think in the second half they'll come back and, and play strong. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Larry. And I think Jen meant the second quarter. I don't think she wants to wait till the second half for them to get going. Yeah, I'm sure she meant the second quarter. <laughs> Spark shot 27% in that first quarter, 4 of 15, while Seattle went 7 for 14, 50%. Big difference there in rebounding, 11 to 6 in favor of Seattle, and 4 to 3 on the offensive glass. Well, I'm sure this second half is going to be important for the Sparks to really limit Seattle's second chance points. Lauren Jackson gets down low and scores. That time, a lack of communication. Riley should have called the back pick, but nice play by Seattle and Lauren Jackson in for that uh, lob pass. Jackson's got nine, averaging 22 per game. Benny Lennox on the floor for LA. She's got the basketball. Double team down low. And Riley bangs one off the iron. Tina with the rebound. Hits the side iron. And I'm Russell over with the backstroke. Quick move with the pass down the sideline, right from the baseline. That's how you do it. Boom, boom, boom. First points in the game for Tanisha. Player out of Penn State. Right behind Kelly Mazzetti. At Penn State for a couple of years. She's really improved, uh, Tanisha Wright. And she will do whatever this storm team needs, to, needs for her to do. There's times where she'll go to the one. Uh, she's tenacious with her defense. She's actually the, the player of the year. In, the, in her conference in college, and doing a nice job of uh, just transferring that to the WNBA, improving her defense, now improving her three-point shot. Um, let's see, she's shooting a much better 55% from three-point range, which uh, before we would always leave her open at three-point range. So it's good to see how these players continue to improve. Well, it, it's fun, too, because as you said a couple of years ago, she was out there, she was okay, but we've actually seen her blossom and step into the starting role and just get better and better. Absolutely. Parker got it by Jackson, down low to Tina, and there's the button. That's a nice play, and it's, it's really good when they do that back screen. It's tough for the guards to get over the top, and the guards that force him to switch and super couldn't do anything with Tina Thompson. Four points for Tina. And a turnover gives it back to L.A. Noel Quinn pulls up and bangs it off the heel. Rebound of Russell Moore. Sparks have Thompson, Quinn, Tolliver, Parker, and Wisdom Hilton on the floor right now. A couple of minutes gone in the second quarter. Wisdom Hilton playing some D. Tanisha Wright, Lauren Jackson, Versamova, Little, and Bird on the floor for Seattle. Missed by Wright, here comes Tolliver. Tolliver getting the start tonight. Tisha Pinachero out with an ankle injury suffered in last night's loss at Phoenix. Parker against Jackson. Some defensive help along the way to foul. Here's a look at that player where they got the inside bucket list. Well, it was a nice job. They run this pick on the baseline. Tina comes off, and right there you can see the guard forced to switch because of the good screen by Tolliver, and there Tina's able to finish inside easily. Three fouls on Lauren Jackson. Candace Parker with four points in the game. And now five. I think Candace is really struggling. Just the fact that she's playing outside, it's cold. She looks like she's not yet comfortable uh, out here on the floor. Maybe not even warm. I don't. I don't really see her sweating um, as much as the other players. And I don't know. She doesn't look like she's 100 percent tonight. We'll keep an eye on her. She's got a half dozen right now. She's going to have to go before halftime. So they're coming up at intermission. We'll have a special tribute to the late John Wood. Jackson from the free throw line. Off the mark. And Wisdom Hilton with the rebound. The Seattle team got off to a good start. Then they went into Chicago last week and got beaten. And it kind of got them all fired up again. 
Get them refocused. Here's Tina. Nice job. Sparks doing a nice job on the offensive boards, getting the second chance. Uh, Noel Quinn running that ball down and giving it to Tina Thompson. Six for second. Tina. She averages 14 per game. And Seattle wants a timeout. Six minutes and 48 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The storm on top by a score of 29 to 18. Sparks on a sit zip run as we head to a timeout from outside. Well, I grew up as a student of the game, and my dad, you know, played during that era when UCLA was dominant. And, um, you know, I had his pyramid of success on my wall when I started falling in love with the game of basketball in seventh grade. So, you know, I, I knew a lot about him and, you know, obviously knew a lot about the plays that he ran, but most of all, just his um, message as a teacher, you know, and, and he really did a lot for basketball and growing the sport, but he grew his players as, as people as well. Great soundbite from Candace Parker, uh, former UCLA basketball coach John Wooden, who died last night at the age of 99. It's amazing how many people John Wooden touched that had nothing to do with UCLA basketball. Oh, absolutely, and as a Trojan, you know, it's, it's tough to, to really uh, admit, but I looked up quotes at all the time. I love John Wooden. Anytime I see a quote in a locker room from him, you know, I'd read it, I'd write it down, I'd have it in my notebook. And one of my favorite ones is it's amazing how much can be accomplished if no one cares who gets the credit. Uh -huh. And I remember just feeling like, you know, as a, as a captain of the team, it's important just to pass the ball around and get other people involved. And I really think that's what the Sparks are missing right now. When they get to the fourth quarter, don't care about who gets the credit for what happens. Just get it done and share the ball. The foul was on a Brosa Moba. And the Sparks have started out with Parker. At the elbow, going against Jackson. Tolliver with a miss. And Jackson with another rebound. Lauren dyed her hair a couple of uh, games ago, and since then she has 27 points against San Antonio and 32 against Atlanta. That's some dye. That's a good dye. <laughs> Here's Lauren from outside. Bangs it off the hard rim, rebound for Tina Thompson. Sue Bird with the that's the well, sixth Seattle, turnover against L.A. Seattle's doing a nice job. What they're doing is when the ball goes into Candace, they wait till she puts it on the floor, and usually it's the point guard who's over there. Sue mm -hmm. Bird who's coming in and doubling. I mean, a little with an inside bucket. She's got eight points. 31 to 18, Seattle. Thompson guarded by Candace. And Parker switches one home to the right side. Eight points for CP. And we'll take it down to the five-minute mark remaining here before halftime. Also coming up at intermission, we'll talk with WNBA President Donna Oranger, who's here from outside evening basketball. Back and forth they go. Bird now, six on the shot clock. Jackson with the fake. Two seconds. Gonna get off the time now. I did that. Yeah, just barely. Let's see if the Sparks can strike back the other way. Tolliver. Oh, she got through the traffic. Couldn't get by. Bird all alone. And they brush him over with the rebound. And the UConn connection coming through. The Sparks just one step slow on every possession there defensively. Uh, but Seattle doing a nice shot. They have great energy and they're moving the ball around. And Super didn't want to shoot that shot, but you can see she hesitated and thought the wind would catch it, and it did. We could take a look at it again all alone. Maybe it was the wind. Maybe the wind did it. I'll give her the wind. It caught the bottom of the rim. <laughs> We're going to take a timeout, 4.14 to go here before halftime on Fox Sports West. 